Bishop, good to see you again. Good to Thanks be here. for being with us. Uh, uh, the Holy Father, when uh, as he's looking forward to the Synod on Family and Marriage in the fall, he's been talking a lot about people who feel alienated from the church, and he says that uh, he doesn't want them to, to, to feel alienated, that the doors of the church should be open for them and they should be able to participate. Is he showing his hand, in a sense, as to what he hopes uh, the Synod will do? Well, I don't, I wouldn't guess on that. I do think, again, his um, openness to everyone, which is characteristic of the church, it must be, as I, my own car, you know, Episcopal motto is the behold your mother, it is the church I'm to we're talking about. There, there are no, nobody can compare to a mother who, who loves their children, who forgives them no matter what they do, brings them back. That's what the church should do. It doesn't mean that a mother doesn't discipline at times. It doesn't say this is right and that's wrong. But a mother accepts uh, and, and loves all of her children. And this is what the church must do also. Yeah. The Holy Father seems to have opened the door a bit to possibly changing the rules on whether or not uh, divorced and remarried Catholics can receive communion, how they can participate in church life. Uh, what do you what do you think is going to happen? Well, there? it's hard to tell. It's hard to say exactly what uh, what could change. Um, what we know can't change is that we can uh, uh, say that the marriage bond, if it's properly contracted, uh, can be dissolved. That's that's the teaching of Jesus Himself. But how we go about it, how we judge it, that those things can change. The annulment process could change, be made easier. So it would allow more people to come to the sacraments who may have been divorced for many different reasons. So um, I think there's a shift in understanding. We really are emphasizing, let's do all that we can, everything that's possible to bring people uh, to Christ through the church. Mm -hmm. uh, Holy Father seems to have made uh, the theme of mercy one of the themes of uh, his papacy. and. And so he's called now for a, a, a holy year of mercy. Uh, what is what is a holy year, first of all? Well, a jubilee a year. This is going to be special. Jubilee, it's a jubilee, a jubilee, year. jubilee year. Right. It's usually now every 25 years the jubilee year is, is called. Um, it's a special year of pilgrimage to Rome where the holy doors are opened, time of, of, of gaining indulgences, a special time of concentration in the church on the theme of the holy year. This one is mercy. That we understand that. Uh, let's remember that St. John Paul II, his first uh, encyclical was on, on mercy. Uh, so this theme has been with the church now for over four, th almost 30 years now that we've continued uh, to keep talking about how we can increase the understanding of mercy within the church. So the, the Holy Year, again, is a special year that happens all over the world. Uh, some people can make pilgrimages, others cannot, to Rome, but they celebrate it throughout the church, wherever the church is. is. Mm. I know the uh, concept uh, you know, caught a lot of people by surprise because it wasn't 25 years, but I know it's too early to plan, but right. will there be uh, activities here in the diocese itself that for people who cannot get to Rome? Oh, definitely. Uh, we did this uh, in the past, so we will make, definitely will have the observance of the Holy Year in the diocese. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of us grew up, I mean, knowing that, uh, you know, that our God is a God of mercy and forgiveness. Certainly we preach forgiveness all the time in the church. So why, why this special need to concentrate again on mercy? What, is, what does the Holy Father see that maybe we don't see that he's trying to get across here? Well, I think his, his, always, his emphasis has been on reach out to the margins, to the periphery, as he says it. And, you know, the people around the margins, the periphery, somehow they do feel alienated, or for one reason or another, they don't feel they can participate. Uh, sometimes it's poverty. When people are really poor, uh, sometimes they don't feel welcome in the church. Maybe the way they're dressed, or that they can't put anything in the collection, you know, there's symbolic things that keep people from really coming. I think his idea is, again, let's take the barriers down. Let's make everybody feel welcome as, as, as much as we can.
Good. Okay, well, we'll look forward to it, and uh, we'll have, of course, in Philadelphia, uh, before the Synod in Rome, we have the meeting here on families and marriage, and that'll precede the, uh, the special mm -hmm. Synod in Rome. So it's something we'll be looking forward to for the rest of the year. Bishop, thanks so much for You're being welcome. with us today.